Hey everyone, so quick Terraria news video, we've got some brand new 1.4.5 spoilers, so as always, let's jump into it. Now first off, somebody wrote a message to Red that said, please consider bringing back the Petri dish and other old pets. Well, Red responded and said, if we ever add any new pets, It'll be Alma the Bunny from the comics or a rat for my daughter. Next up, somebody made a forum thread suggesting that the Rubble Maker should be available in pre-hard mode. Well, Red responded and said, I'll discuss this with the team. But then 20 minutes later, said the Rubble Maker has been moved to pre-hard mode with no unlock conditions. Somebody wrote to Red and said, for Celebration Mark 10, could you move the spawn back to the middle? The beach is nice, but somewhat problematic. Red responded and said, that's one of the major parts of the seed though, but later said, you know, I might have a compromise for this in a seed combination. Next up, somebody made a forum post with a bunch of different suggestions. Now, I'm not going to read it out because it's quite long, but I did find Red's response interesting. He wrote, I like the idea of expanding Sky Islands more. I even have an idea for a seed that plays into that, which I may or may not get around to someday. Honestly, instead of a new boss, if we were going to add something like that, I'd rather spend the time on post Moon Lord content, all of which is outside the scope of this update. Next up, Red put up a post that said, when you're trying to beat Torch God, but your friends are all trolls. Now there's quite a bit going on here, but one thing I did notice is that the imp summons have been resprited. In the last 28 days, 69.8% of people that watch these videos are not actually subscribed. If you're one of those people, please do consider clicking that subscribe button. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything that's going on. Next up, somebody wrote a post to Red that said, I wrote it before, somewhere, but torches should be clentamitable and or be infected. Swapping manually is harsh and that sweet torch look is a bummer to lose on a hard mode V spread infection. Well, Red responded and said, I too am annoyed by this. I'll see if we can work something out. In response to people talking about their real life yo-yos on Red's wall, Red actually responded and said, thanks for the chat. This conversation has inspired me to give yo-yos a small bit of love this update. Next up, somebody asked, asked Red, can you combine more than two seeds or is two the max? And Red responded, you can combine as many as you want. Senex put up a post on the Terraria forums and said, Chrono is about to start a new furniture set. Can you guys guess what it is? Now, as someone who isn't a master builder, I have no idea what they're gonna be adding, but if you do have an idea, let me know in the comments down below. Now, just like last Wednesday, Red shared a brand new spoiler on the forums. He wrote, who wants to play a game of hangman only one letter per person now i'm gonna skip the game here the answer is boulder rain happy spoiler wednesday remember you guys asked for this. Yeah, Boulder Rain is, is now apparently a thing. I've got no idea where this is going to pop up. Is it a new thing for legendary mode? Is it something to do with combinations? Is it every time you cut down a tree, Boulder Rain? No idea. But listen, these boulders, they're, they're getting out of hand. Next up, somebody made a forum post showing off their giant crafting station where you can craft every item in Terraria. And one thing that was clever is they actually used bubble blocks combined with shimmer so that you could shimmer things with in their giant crafting system. And in the forum post, they were asking, can we keep bubbles filled with liquid after reloading the world? Well, Red responded and said, all right, I got the liquid inside of bubble blocks to survive, saving and loading. I also cleaned up the liquid drawing so it wasn't as ugly near the edges. I think this will open up some cool idea for builds. Thanks for the suggestion. And here's a little look at Red's work. Now, I'll be honest, I've never really used bubbles before, but I think after this, I probably will. Now, I don't usually talk about release windows because Relogic is famous for just saying soon. But Red did say no estimates yet. Still probably a few months off at the minimum. And finally, let's talk about r slash place that's going on right now on Reddit. If you've never heard of it before, it's a giant live canvas where you can place a pixel down every five minutes and so can everybody else. And so if you want to draw some art on the board, you need to have a giant group all organized together working on the same project and then once it's done you need to defend it well when it began red actually said on the terraria discord 
tempted to bribe you guys with a new boulder of your choice if you can hold the image to the end. Well, even though I die to boulders a lot, this is a challenge I was not backing down from. But before I was able to jump in and do a live stream, which we did last night, the community was already at work drawing beautiful art and really working on maintaining it. Last night though, we streamed for almost four hours and collectively we made a really beautiful piece of art. And I want to give a special thank you to Jim, the Terraria artist, for joining me last night on the stream and making it extra special and also keeping it nice and organized. So Red actually said the result of Chippy's stream might make a good in-game picture. And I agree. I think it's beautiful. But whether it becomes a painting or not, last night we all worked together and we made something that was honestly really special. So thank you to everyone that helped and everyone who's been keeping it around today. It really does mean a lot. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.